In VisMe, you can do a variety of different types of text editing and formatting. I'm going to show you just a two to three different versions of that today. So the above example is a text formatting that I want to achieve. And it's basically one line of text that's been split into two, and it's got a color orientation there. Okay. So the way that you do that is you basically um, click on the text uh, block and that will show you all your text options at the top. Just going through the order real quick, your font, your font size, and also the ability you can go larger or smaller with font, ability to apply links to the text, of course bold, italicized, and underline, uh, your justification for bullet points which will be a separate topic later on, ability to modify the color of the text, background color, and also the actual font color itself, and this is all the settings that you can manage uh, for your text. So let me show you how each of these uh, is used. In this case, as I mentioned before, there is a text box that I have and I want to go ahead and maybe modify the, the sizing of the text to about 60. Um, I'll go ahead and change this uh, font to uh, Marvel. It's a pretty thin font and also what I can do is go to the text here in a text block uh, notice that the text block again size. This is if you want to break the text in different lines. We recommend that you keep your text box uh, usually a little bit wider or larger than the text itself, especially in this case that I'm going to be adding an enter point. So I click enter and that gives me a uh, text block here. So I have the neat trans and visual communications, the same text, um, but if you notice on this one, I can go ahead and apply a, a bit of an italic and I'll go ahead larger on the text size and on the new trends I will go ahead and highlight this and in VisMe the text editor the beauty of it is that you can actually apply different text fonts so I could change the font of this right now if I wanted to but I, to keep it uniform I'm gonna go ahead and change the font color uh, and the font color in this case I'll just go ahead with the blue so if you notice I achieved a very similar style from the bottom and the, the top to the bottom with just a few uh, clicks. Let's go show you another option. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the block formatting of the text to create a, a, a text block like this. And so if you look down here, I have the same text, but it is basically in a transparent background, which is why the black underneath of it shows through. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to go to the um, settings block so if I click on this it gives me all the different options now I could play around with the vertical padding horizontal padding but I'm gonna start off with the fill color so I'm gonna give it a fill color of this orange and if you notice I don't have enough contrast so I'll go ahead and double click on the text go to my actual font color and let's just apply a darker color to it now my justification is off I have more space on the left and on the right so it's not a problem. I will go to the justification and center the text. Now, this block has some corners on it, so this one doesn't. And uh, the beauty of our block editor is that you can pretty much go in and uh, you can actually uh, add vertical padding. I can add uh, horizontal padding if I want to. In this case, I'm uh, you know, going to uh, avoid that. I'll just stick with the, what we have. Also, I'm going to go ahead in this case and apply it the border options. So if I apply a border, um, I could apply a color to it if I want to. Um, in this case, I'm just going to let it be black and I will go and apply a roundness. So in the roundness, if you notice, I went ahead and actually uh, apply the roundness option here to this text block. So what I have achieved is the uh, same block, uh, similar design as the top itself. So this is how you can use the block settings uh, to be able to achieve this type of formatting. Let's go to another one. In this example, I'm going to tap into our text editor widget. So first of all, it's on the left panel that you can add text. So I click the text option and it gives me all the different options. And I want to create something like this. So the beauty of our uh, text widgets is that we give you a great starting point and then you can adjust it as needed. So I'll go ahead and looks like this is the close template to that. I'll drag and drop this 
And what this will do is it will drop both um, its two layers. So if you look at it, I have a text layer which I can move around and I have my uh, shape layer. So I click on the shape and what I want to get from this is uh, the color. So I'm going to go ahead and in this case click the um, red and on the font options of course I want to go with perhaps a uh, let's see we'll go with the Lato I think option maybe we'll look for that or maybe even Helvetica might be might not be bad so let's go ahead and do let's connect um, and again I'm going to go control the sizing of the font and I will also manage the centering of it and so it's now a centered font and I will go ahead and move it you see this allows me to center this right within the uh, block here and I will go ahead also and see if I want to control the line spacing a little bit and the way I can do that is here uh, so I can actually control the uh, line height. So the line height is a 1.2. I'm going to put 1.0 so that brings it a little bit closer together. And there it is. So I have a very similar setup as the right um, and that's how you can actually use the blocks uh, to achieve that.